What would you do to achieve the perfect body? For Fauzi Russell, it means going through extreme diets just to lose weight. He is among the growing number of men who believe that thin is beautiful. Is being thin an illness or simply a lifestyle choice? So, do you feel misunderstood? Um, kind of, yeah. Because I uh, like I re- I really told I really told them that I want to be skinny because of I told them because um you look good you look great in everything you wear but yeah they just they told me like why what for you know the kind of thing yeah it's hard to explain them. Do you think the anorexia is wrong? Um, in a way, uh, I don't think so. Also, because uh, if you like anorex, okay. If for instance, if you like, you want to lose weight and you vomit, keep vomiting. Of course, it's wrong. You know, if you're doing the right, the the um the right way, like you don't vomit, but you just cut down on your food intake, etc. I think that's the right way. I think there's yeah, nothing wrong about that. So I mean, how do you feel when you know you look on the street and you see skinny people versus fat people? What what are the thoughts going through your head? Oh, I'm sorry to say this, but after I feel it, I'm like insulting them, you know. I mean, like if I see fat people, I was like tend to ignore, yeah, them especially. But when I look at skinny people, um, I would tend to like um, associate them with models, yeah, because normal normal models are thin and they are better to look at, you know. Sometimes, yeah, it's. How you think, how your mindset works sometimes, yeah. So you think that you know being thin—that's the ideal of beauty to you. Correct, yeah. So why did you set up the uh, pro anorexia Facebook group? Uh, last time I, I created a group at Friends uh, called the Teens Pro Club. And unfortunately, I don't receive much of the um, people in, uh, um, joining the group. And when I started Facebook group, I received almost around 900, you know, increase from 400 to 900. And unfortunately, someone complained to Facebook, and I think Facebook disliked me or hate me, and they got the group banned. Yeah, and now it's been deleted. Yeah, yeah, for a second time already. I'm so sad. <laughs> Are you gonna try again to set up another one? I try a new group, yeah, but right now it's still growing, and yeah, I'm, I'm so see how, yeah. What do you guys usually talk about on the group? Okay, um, we don't promote anorexia actually. Like we, uh, my purpose of creating this group to act- is to actually um, get people to communicate with other people, uh, one another from around the world. Uh, be it team people of big size people or whatever um, to share their tips. You know, first for instance, the team people I want them to share their uh, inspiring tips like how they stay skinny, uh, what are the diets, etc., etc. You know, yeah. Besides, um, a kind of food intakes, exercise. You know. So what would you say to people who think that being thin is wrong? Um, I mean, it's, it's their business, you know. If they don't eat, they don't eat. I mean, you don't control people's life and people don't control you. If you want to be thin, it's up to you. You know, people want to look good and that's why they, they want to be thin. Um, the one thing, they persevere to be thin and and also things about glamour. And if you don't like glamour, it's up to you. And the one thing I hate about these big size people is that I don't understand them sometimes because um, when they look, they come up to you. Oh my God, you're so anorexic, you're so thin. Just because you're fat, you say that to the team people, you know. And one thing I don't understand, and they keep saying, they kept saying, uh, team people is unhealthy. And what about the fat people? Are they healthy? You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's kind of like contradicting sometimes.